Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is called Mine Video for Minecraft 1.2.5. Basically, what this mod allows you to do is to capture your Minecraft gameplay into a video. You could actually save this video into a folder and view it later, but there's one thing that will not record, it will not record your audio. So if you're expecting uh, to be talking in the video, it won't capture your audio. At the moment, I'm not sure if the modder will update it, but anyways guys, this uh, mod actually captures a bit better than my old recording uh, software, which was Comtisa. This mod actually records just like Fraps, so let me go ahead and press the key in order to record. But please know it's not going to record my audio, so I will record and then show you how it looks, and maybe you can determine if it's good or bad but um, there won't be any audio so let's go ahead and press F4 to start the recording you could open up the video recording menu by pressing F6 but apparently when I press F6 the GUI doesn't open up so I can't change the format or I can't um, change the quality of the video it's just gonna be default but anyways when I press F4 it's gonna give me a little uh, noise it's gonna sound like a chicken noise but right now I'm recording and the FPS did go up just a little bit because I'm recording with not only fraps but I'm recording with this mod as well so there's two uh, screen recordings going out at the same time that's pretty cool but anyways this is basically it you will notice that I am recording because of how everything's moving a bit more slower than before but once I press F4 now the video is gonna stop and then it's gonna say your video has been saved and it'll tell you exactly uh, the date and the name of the file and you could check it out in your um, video folder so yeah let me go ahead and play the video and you could see how it looks Alright, so you just got done watching the video, there was no audio, so I just had to crank up a little bit of music. But anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and record a little scene with Fraps, and I'm gonna record the same scene, but with this mod. So you're gonna see the difference between Fraps and uh, this mod to see if there is a difference. There might be a difference, maybe you guys could catch this. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the difference. is done the finish lines behind you and you have lost or you have won the crowd goes home and you're still standing on that empty track the lights are out the crowd is gone but there's no going back cause you're already there you're already So I did see the difference there, but what do you expect? It is a free recording software, and it is a Minecraft mod, and it's a really amazing mod. If you're still interested in this mod, you want to capture your Minecraft moments, and if you want to share it on YouTube with your friends and everything, let's go ahead and see how to install this awesome mod. It can be a bit difficult. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod can be difficult to install depending if you're on a Windows 7 just like me, so we have to install it a different way. But the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Updating Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Updating Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with your mod. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft.jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating, and you're going to go into my description, it's going to take you to my website or you could go to the forums and you're gonna get mod loader you're gonna get mine video and you're gonna get the patch this is only for Windows 7 uh, 64 bit users so if you're a 64 bit user you have to get the patch because it's not gonna work alright so I'm gonna get the patch we're gonna install the patch last but um, let's go ahead and install this mod once you have the downloads drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and let's go ahead and install this mod I'm gonna go here to start search your program file I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users you should see her run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top you're gonna go into your dot minecraft folder you can see bin resources save and everything else go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft thought jar with winrar or any sim zip opener you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed here's my minecraft game that i just forced updated you have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods so exit off your minecraft game now you're gonna right click your minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder open with winrar or any sim zip opener if you don't have winrar links in the description so open this up with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete MetaInf. You have to delete MetaInf. So right-click MetaInf 
and delete files, say yes, and delete meta inf. Now meta inf is gone, now we can continue. Open a mod loader, double click mod loader, move it aside. You're gonna highlight all the files from mod loader and simply drag it all into the minecraft.jar side and replace press OK, and you are done with both the minecraft.jar and mod loader. So exit off the minecraft.jar and exit off mod loader, you are done with that. Make sure you're still in the bin folder where you open up your minecraft.jar with winrar because we're gonna go back one. So go back to your .minecraft folder because we're gonna create two new folders. We're going to create a mods folder and we're going to create a videos folder, okay? So right click, new folder and call it mods, M-O-D-S. If you already have a mods folder, that's great. So just uh, just make a mods folder if you don't have one. So right click, new folder and create another new folder and call it videos. This is where all your videos are going to be saved at. And I already have a videos folder, so it's right here. Let me go ahead and delete this old folder right here. But anyways, I already have myself a videos folder, but if you don't have a videos folder, you have to make one no matter what or your game will crash when you press F4. So make a videos folder. So now what we do is open up the mine video, zip, move it aside. You're going to see a folder. Go into that folder. You're going to see jars and all this other stuff. What you have to do is go into your mods folder, okay? The mods folder that you just created. So go into your mods folder, and if you have anything in here, go ahead and delete it. We're not going to need that. Make sure it's make sure it's empty. It's an empty folder. And go ahead and drag over all of these jars, even the zip and everything, into your mods folder. So move everything into your mods folder. Now what you have to do is uh, run this exogl. I really don't know how to pronounce this, but let's just call it ugl. Yeah, let's call it ugl. So you have to run this ugl setup thing. So double click that, uh, say yes, and it's going to pop out like this. You have to install this, say next, say I agree. Install it for any computer, just say next and install it. And this is going to be a while, um, so yeah, so just let this run, and then when it says finish, you're going to hit next in a bit. Let me go ahead and pause the video. Alright, so now it says completed, and now what you have to do is press next and finish. Once you are done with that, that's great, and now you can go ahead and exit off everything. But if you're on a Windows 7, then you have to install the patch. If you're on a Windows XP, it should be working, the mod should be working. But if you're on a Windows 7, 64-bit, just like me, let's go ahead and install the patch. You have to download the patch that's in my website, or you can go to their forums. And here's the patch. What we have to do is locate the Uggles folder, which is in our computers. So go here to Start, and go here to Computer. So click on Computer. You're going to go into your local C. So go into your local C, your Program Files x86. So go into that. And now you're going to scroll down where you see Xuggle or Uggle, whatever you're going to you know, call this. Go into that folder and you're going to see uh, the bins and all that stuff. Just move that aside. Just stay right here. And now you're going to open up the patch zip. Open that up. Move it aside. You're going to highlight those uh, bins and folders and all that stuff and drag it into your programs file, Uggle, right there. So move it over. All you have to do is just highlight these files and drag it over. It's going to tell you if you want to replace. Just say yes. Say yes to everything that comes up. Uh, it's going to tell me a lot of things because I've already done this before. So yeah, and there we go. Now once once you have dragged all these files into your Uggles folder, <laughs> that's it. I'm sorry that I'm calling it uh, how it's not to be pronounced. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's how you install the patch, and it should be working right away. And when you press F4, you're going to hear a custom noise. It's going to be an egg noise where, like, you know, how chicken uh, hatches an egg. You're going to be hearing that, and let me go ahead and go into single player. I'm going to go into any world I like, and once I press F4, it should be working. Um, let's go ahead and try this out, and it, I think it is recording. I'm not sure. I'm going to press F4, and there we go. It did install correctly because it, I press F4, and I press F4 again, and it just saved the video. Let's go ahead and check out where the video is located at. It's going to be in your .minecraft folder. It's going to be into that videos folder that you just created. There you go. So there's the video. You could double-click that and watch the video. And there it is. It's a it's a bit smooth, you know, when I'm not uh, doing, uh, you know, a big video when you know I'm not recording something huge. It's pretty smooth. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this mod. It's a really cool mod. Hopefully, you guys, uh, it works out for you guys, and hopefully, you guys don't get a black screen installing this. It's pretty simple. Um, all I'm gonna say is uh, to rewatch the video again. So yeah, thank you guys for uh, liking this video, commenting, and supporting me. You guys are awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey man, it's your buddy Porkchop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there, the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SCM Owens. They're both nice people. 
They like me, they call me pork chop And they think I'm really cool Just look at my eyes, look what I can do with them Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two It doesn't matter which one, Mom Maybe both, you know Maybe you're that cool, come on, man Cause I'm already there